Hi and welcome to Sim Racing Corner and our review for Crew Chief. Crew Chief is an application that integrates with a number of sim titles and provides a radio engineer and spotter. The software is completely free and a website link is in the video description for you. Sim titles spew out a vast amount of telemetry and that can be captured by external software which I'm sure you already know and Crew Chief is reading this game telemetry data from the sim and verbally providing the information back to the driver while on track. So during a race, Crew Chief will automatically give you updates on the status of your car condition, fuel, tyres, timings, flags, etc. All that good stuff that helps us while running laps. Crew Chief also has speech recognition, uh, so you can verbally request specific information if you have a mic. And I'll cover that in more detail later in the video. Some sim titles already include a radio race engineer, uh, giving you prompts during a race, but the reason you'd opt for Crew Chief is the higher level of information and user interactive properties using this software. Uh, but games like Assetto Corsa or Race Room don't have a race engineer or spotter option at all. So using Crew Chief adds something new and improves the overall gaming experience. So that covers Crew Chief and what it can do for you and its capabilities. Uh, I'm not going to run through an extensive setup guide, it doesn't really need one. The in-game help does run you through the steps and it's very user friendly. But for what it's worth, here's a short instruction. When you launch Crew Chief for the first time, you'll need to download the sound packs. This may take a few minutes. Once installed, we start Crew Chief uh, and there will be a further small updates available on two of the sound packs. Grab those again by clicking the green highlighted buttons and that's it. For voice recognition, your Windows installation may already have what you need. If not, in the instructions there's a link to the Microsoft web pages where you grab the software and language pack. Uh, install those and voice recognition will work. It's that easy. Next at the top right, uh, select your name from the list. Uh, so the crew chief will call you by your actual name. Uh, there's only one chief voice. Uh, the default one there, uh, you can't change that, but you do have a choice of 11 different male and female spotter voice packs to pick from, uh, so that's pretty cool. You may want to map a button to control the spotter, and to do this, uh, you go to the actions panel. Uh, first, click scan for controllers to list your USB devices, so that will include your button boxes or wheel buttons or keyboard. Uh, then select the device you want to map it to, so if it's a button box, click the button box in that list uh, and then select the action and then assign. Finally press the button or key on the device to map the action and that's it. Finally select the game from the game list and click start application. If it's the first time and if it needs an additional plugin uh, for that particular title, uh, Crew Chief will install it at this point for you uh, and now you're ready to load your sim title. There's nothing more to do now, Crew Chief will just work in that game. And here's some examples of feedback you can expect from Crew Chief during a race. 18th. Okay, Jeremy. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Green, green, green. On your right. Still there. Clear right. Car right. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Right side. Clear right. On your left. Clear left. On your right. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. All right, Jeremy. Decent start. You can build something from here. Tiny bit of aero damage, just ignore it. Still there. Clear left. Come on, Jeremy. Keep pushing. We might get it back. The driver in front of us is Lightner. The leader's just done a 200.9. Zero, zero, the car ahead has just done a 200.4. Zero, zero, that lap was a 207.28. Your last. Molina in the gaps now, 0.5, B21. Well, that was up to a 6.00. Zero, zero. Sector 1 is 3.6, off the pace. Uh, that was Assetto Corsa. What really impressed me with that test was the accuracy of the spotter information. 
Crew Chief is adding a new feature to Assetto Corsa. It's not replacing a like-for-like -like pre existing function. Uh, the spotter was giving accurate information. I was able to avoid other vehicles in my blind spots and I had a safer drive with its help. It didn't feel like an add on, it seemed like a natural part of the game, as if it was meant to be there. Uh, the information was clear and perfectly on point. Uh, what was also incredible was it is stating the actual driver names when telling me the details of the gap times of the drivers in front and behind. Um, I was blown away. That's amazing attention to detail for sure. Each supported sim title can be finely tuned under the properties panel in Crew Chief. Um, so here you can see what type of information is available and you can selectively disable certain information uh, and you can also adjust the timings. Uh, personally, I don't think you need to mess around with anything here. It's nice to have the option, but I feel Crew Chief is perfectly set up in the default settings. All right then, let's get back into a game and this time testing the voice recognition. And here's a few clips I recorded with Race Room. Floor it. Can you hear me? Okay, Jeremy, I can hear you. Full update. Nine minutes remaining. P6. There's no significant damage. 48 litres remaining. The tyre rail looks fine, mate. Your tyre temperatures look good. Your brake temperatures are okay. The Yamato Blomquist ahead is increasing. It's now. On your left. Clear left. What tyres am I on? Prime tyres. Gap ahead. 2.9 seconds. Gap behind. 0. 0.47. Who's leading? Green. Who's in front? Blomquist. Who's behind? Wickens. Tight end. Front left, 92. Front right, 92. Left rear, 93. Right rear, 93. Celsius. Tire wear. We're not seeing any significant tire wear. Do I need to pit? No. The leader has just done a 206.32. All right, Jeremy, the next car is extra. The guy behind has just done a 205.72. That was a 205.56. Gap ahead. Say again. Gap ahead. Clear left. On your left. 0.9. Still there. Clear left. That's it, just a few short examples. Um, sorry, you may not have been able to hear me clearly, um, so I added the annotations as my voice was being drowned out by the car sounds. The voice recognition worked 99% of the time. When it wasn't able to understand an instruction, you get a message from the crew chief telling you to repeat, and it worked a second time, so no problem. If you listen carefully, you'll notice the crew chief responded almost immediately. And if you talk while the spotter is chatting, it's still listening in, and once the spotter is finished, uh, the crew chief will relay the information. Uh, that's great, there's no confusing overlapping chats from the pit crew. You do need to use headphones for the audio if you're planning to use voice recognition, otherwise speakers will feed sound back to the mic and confuse the crew chief. Um, made worse if the spotter is chatting away too, so just use a regular gaming headset and you will be fine. In the help and getting started guide, there's a list of commands you can use. Uh, there's a ton of them, and I only remembered the basics for my test runs. Um, it's very extensive. For example, you can ask your crew chief how many laps you have remaining on your current fuel load, or ask how much fuel you need to get to the end of the race. Uh, very clever and useful, and there's more like that. Some of the programmed commands will depend on the game. In iRacing, during pit stops, you can state the actual number of liters of fuel to be pumped, and even what tires to be changed and uh, the tyre pressures, impressive indeed. Uh, you can also record pace notes. This is a very interesting feature. As you drive around a track, you can record your own voice. And these recorded notes will be played back at the same part of the track they were recorded at. Um, this is a really useful tool for learning new tracks or a personal cheat sheet uh, during a race maybe. Furthermore, with voice recognition, you can map any in-game key binding. Um, there's some pre-configured ones, but you can also add your own by editing a JSON file. Uh, so there's plenty of depth provided with the voice recognition functionality if you choose to use it. Uh, the voice recognition is completely optional. As I said earlier, Crew Chief will automatically deliver useful information during each lap anyway. Uh, so you get a lot from Crew Chief even without touching upon voice commands if that aspect of the software doesn't interest you. But certainly, the voice commands in Crew Chief is a truly powerful sim racing tool and not a gimmick. It adds another layer of immersion, far beyond the fact it's relaying vital information. 
communicating and getting response back within the sim is more realistic. It's like there's a real team of people in the pit lane looking out for you. As sim racers, we strive for greater levels of realism with these games. Force feedback wheels, load cell pedals, motion, tactile transducers, VR, uh, the list goes on and on. And Crew Chief is an exceptional addition towards this goal. It's another layer of sweetness to that immersion cake. Um, it's really fantastic. Okay then, we are indeed at the end of this review. Uh, check out Crew Chief, it's completely free, it's easy to use and does an incredible job. It's as simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, smack the like guys, smack it hard. It really does help the channel and I really do appreciate it as a small gratuity for the time and effort it takes to produce these videos. And of course it encourages me to make more videos. So thanks for watching, happy simming and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.